afam go find your beautiful now. The topic I'm going to take now is positions, duties, responsibilities, and job specification. Please, whoever that is here should pay attention and listen carefully because this is where we are getting it wrong in Nemo. So we should listen carefully and make amends. One, in a town union leadership, there might be various positions such as president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, and members at large. Duties and responsibility may include organizing community events, managing funds, communicating with local governments, advocating for the community, and representing the town union at external events. Job specification could vary depending on the specific role, but they might include leadership skills, communication ability, organizational skills, and a passion for community service. Now, my new chairman, this training, even if every other person that is here is not interested, you must be interested in this training because you have a lot on your head. You were elected last year, December, or November, October, and so much is expected from you. Now, I want to read out your job specification for you. I said earlier, I will post this in the general WhatsApp platform of everybody that attended this training. Job summary. The youth leader will be responsible for providing guidance, support, and advocacy for the youth within the community. They will work closely with other youth leaders, community stakeholders, and organize to promote youth development and address their needs and concerns. What is your responsibility? Number one, you have at least 10 responsibilities of a youth leader. One, serve as a representative. What it means is that once you stand up to talk, it means that you are talking not on behalf of yourself, but you are talking on behalf of Nimo youths. So whatever you say or how you say it matters a lot. Whatever you represent, you represent not just yourself, but you represent the entire Nimo youth. So the way you carry yourself matters a lot. So one, I said, serves as a representative and spokesperson for youth members within the community. Number two, coordinate and organize youth programs, activities, and events. Number three, develop and implement strategies to engage and empower youth in decision-making process. Four, mentor and provide guidance to youth members, promoting personal and development uh, and leadership development. Number five, advocate for rights and interests of the youth both within the community and at higher levels. Number six, facilitate communication and collaboration between youth members, community leaders, and other stakeholders. Number seven, collaborate with relevant organizations, example, NGOs, government agencies, to secure funding and resources to support youth initiatives number eight promote volunteerism and community service among youth members number nine monitor and evaluate the impact and effectiveness of youth program reporting on progress and suggesting improvements number 10 represent the youth in town union meetings and contribute to decision making process now this are
agencies of uh, his office. And that's why I'm doing it.